Hey, what's going on guys? Darius here. Uh, good morning. I just woke up and uh, here I am making a tutorial. And uh, this one's going to be on rendering and I'm not talking about uh, the 3D rendering like models and stuff, but I'm talking about uh, cutting out people or uh, cutting out objects out of a uh, distinguished background. So let's take this picture for example of uh, Halo 4 got Master Chief here and uh, all we need is Master Chief for uh, I don't know maybe we're doing a signature and we need another background so we're going to learn how to remove this background and uh, how we can do this easily now I'm not going to go into masking like hair and stuff that's going to be another tutorial and um, yeah let's pass on to cutting out Master Chief so I'm going to just drag him into my Photoshop CS6 and uh, the first thing the first thing that you will want to do is uh, go to your crop tool here press C and then just drag the lines around until you get to a certain point that it it um it basically arrives to master chief close to him but make sure that you don't go over him and uh let me just drag this like this and then, and then press enter and it's going to just crop your image like this and what we did now is just remove the extra space on the left and the right because we didn't need that we need, need to erase that so uh, we're just going to go and grab our pen tool now and we're going to hold alt and by holding alt and uh, rotating the mouse wheel you can actually just uh, zoom in and out so I'm just going to zoom in and out I'm going to hold space and with space you can actually move around the render it's um, really easy and uh, really intuitive you're just going to <laughs> be doing it every time once you learn it so let's zoom in on the helmet for example let's cut let's cut the whole part that's above the helmet first like I'm going to make a click here oh make sure your um, pen tool is set to path and uh, I'm going to click here in this corner here and now in this corner here I'm going to zoom in and as I can see right now I went a little a little under the edge so I'm going to hold the control and I'm going to click on this square here and going to drag it around here and uh, I'm going to put another square here and uh, I'm going to put another one here and with this square here if I hold control and drag it as you can see it makes a curve and the curve is going like this from the square that we made here. Oops, I made another one. And you can actually uh, cover more space with one click like this. So, for example, if I make a click here, here, for example, and I, now I'm going to have to basically wrap this around this side of the helmet. So I'm going to click here to make a uh, square. It doesn't really matter where you click it. Um, and I'm going to drag it right about here where the, where the uh, helmet is supposed to be more bulk. So I'm going to zoom in now. I'm going to click it here like this and click, make another square here. Make sure you always click on the line so if you miss it's going to make a line directly to this spot here. And as you can see I'm just covering the helmet like this. I'm going to make a point here so we got something to hold it down while we curve it right here and it's going to go like this and I'm just going to shorten out this line so it's more steady there we go I'm going to click here to make another square like this and finally I'm going to make one here and as you can see we covered a nice area and we only had two clicks and we just added the squares then and modified it uh, now remember to make curves just click on the point of the line of the path and hold control to make this curvy line and you can do this to make logos and stuff like vectors and uh, it's just really nice I love the pen tool uh, now let's just select a wider area I'm going to click around here and I'm going to drag the, this uh, curve again like this see that just took one single click and uh, we're going to add a square here and let's say that we can go to here okay so we got this area covered now but now I'm kinda tired of clicking so uh, I would just like to remove 
the part so I know that I'm not gonna mess up again. So I'm going to uh, click out of bounds and then out of bounds here and then out of bounds here. Make sure you always stay um, out of the picture. And uh, now I'm just going to click in the picture and in the square. So now we have this whole area selected. Notice how there are uh, there aren't any points, any little squares anymore. That's because you close the path. And um, if you want to select this area and remove it, basically with your uh, with your pen tool selected, make sure you right click inside the image and then select Make Selection. And the feather radius, make sure you choose it to zero, anti-alias and uh, new selection, and then OK. And this is going to make this selection around your image. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention, notice how the image right now is a background and it has this lock here. We need to rasterize it. And um, that's going to allow us to remove parts. Because if I, if I press uh, delete now, it's just going to uh, make, for example, I don't know, white, let's say. But it's not going to make it transparent like we want to. So I'm just going to double click the layer and it's going to, uh, this new layer panel would appear here. Color none. Notice how it's selected there. And then OK. And uh, now our layer is rasterized. There is no lock next to it. And this layer is ready to be cut. So if I press delete now with the selection, we see these squares. And this these squares basically mean transparency. And uh, basically right now you have a transparent chief. So I'm going to make a new layer, for example. And if you want to paint under this image, basically you need to um, grab your brush tool, for example. Let's grab a uh, vibrant color. And if I, if I draw behind Chief, you will actually see that it covers the whole area that we cut, but it's not going to go over Chief. If the layer were to be on top of the Chief, then as you can see, it goes absolutely over it. And that's not what we want. So I'm going to drag it under it. Um, now I'm actually going to just remove this. And I'm going to fast forward this video because I'm going to actually cut this render off. And uh, I'm going to upload it to Baka Renders. And I'm going to actually show you guys how to upload it to uh, BakaRenders.com. Because remember, this channel is about the website. It's about BakaRenders.com. It's not about me. I Yeah, I sometimes do personal stuff. But that's, you know, just to keep it cheered up and uh, just so you know who you're talking to. I think that's important to have contact with your subscribers. Um, okay, fast forward the video and I'm gonna see you guys in uh, a few seconds. Okay, so now that our uh, render was cut and uh, it takes a bit, you know, to cut it, obviously, and but hey, renders are really important. Like, you will not see a uh, graphic designer not using uh, pictures without backgrounds because that's just stupid. Why not use them? For example, plants with transparency are always useful for making nature manipulation or, I don't know, stuff like that. And so what we're going to do with um, this render now is uh, add a minor color correction. And I'm going to go to my uh, effects thing here, effects menu, and I'm going to select levels. And uh, well, it's not actually a color collection. More Color correction is more like a leveling, so I'm just going to uh, pop up the whites a bit and put the darks in. So it just gives it more detail, you know. Um, and I'm going to right click and merge this down. Um, right now, I can remove this background because we know that it's going to work. So uh, now we have this uh, Master Chief render, and now we need to upload it to Baka Renders. First of all, we're going to uh, make sure the only layer on uh, in your Photoshop is the uh, the cutout layer with Master Chief and uh, the render. And I'm going to go to File and then Save As, and then I'm going to save it on the desktop. And uh, the format is going to be PNG or PNS and uh, Halo 4 Master Chief PNG. That's great. And make sure you have as a copy there ticked. So you don't write over the uh, image. So now go to save. Uh, right now it's German by me. And um, if you don't have CS um, 
CS6, then you're just going to go to uh, and select interlaced. Um, and once you have interlaced, just click OK. And now the render is on um, on your background somewhere. There you go. It's here. And right now, as you can see on my desktop, I have the cutout render of Master Chief, and I can now make signatures and wallpapers with it without problem. And uh, we're now now actually we're going to go through uh, uploading it to Baka Render. So right now I'm just uh, logged in in my incognito Chrome, um, and I'm going to go to uh, this upload file thingy with the green arrow pointing up. And uh, this is actually going to upload our uh, render. So I'm going to go and select the album, and this is going to be a game renders because Halo 4 is obviously a game. And then, then I'm going to click this Browse button here, and it's going to bring up bring up the panel with uh, my desktop. Um, and I'm going to select my uh, Halo 4 Master Chief, and then click Open. And this is actually going to automatically upload it to uh, BakaRenders.com. Um, and now we need to uh, edit the information of the render. Let me see. Okay, there it is. It appeared at the bottom. It shows that it's uploaded. So now we click continue and uh, we are going to be brought up to a panel with uh, all these la all these renders that you already uploaded or uh, just this one. So um, the this is the render here and as you can see it doesn't have any info so we're going, going to name it Halo 4 oops, Halo 4 Master Chief it's kind of hard to type because I have the microphone in the way. Um, and the uh, description doesn't really need one. And the keywords are very important. So I'm going to go to Halo 4. Why do I keep saying Halo? Halo 4 render. Then uh, Master Chief render. Then Game renders. Game renders. Baka renders. That's how I usually do it. And now that we have the um, Halo 4 render, the, the the keywords and stuff, you can I add the, obviously an image source, which is where you got the image from, and that would be better. Um, and I am going to have my panel with approving uh, when I go here to files, and it's going to be an option to approve the uploads. So just upload them and uh, wait for my approval, and your render will be on the site. So now if I apply the changes and uh, now the render is going to be uploaded so if I go now to album list and then uh, last uploads I can actually see the Halo 4 Master Chief render that was actually uploaded here and as you can see it doesn't have a background you can just click it and straight away download it and use it in your uh, signatures and uh, yeah right now it's gonna load and you just uh, right click and save image as or you can just drag the image to the desktop and um, yeah, that's basically how you uh, how you are going to uh, render this, uh, render all the images that you want um, to be used in signatures and stuff. And obviously, there are other ways. There is masking, which is useful for hair and fur. And I'm going to uh, make that in future tutorials. Don't worry. But right now I just covered, you know, like uh, gaming anime renders and uh, easy people renders and stuff like that and how you can basically make them without a background. Remember that not, um, not every subscriber of mine is actually an expert in uh, the field of graphic design. Uh, like, you know how I made tutorials with, with, with a cyborg lady and stuff and they didn't even know what layer styles are. They didn't know what... Um, how, how renders work, um, they didn't know how uh, layers work, so I, I'm just going to cover a bit of these uh, minor, let's say minor tutorials for beginners, so uh, they can actually keep up with uh, the others, because if I just go straight up make an advanced tutorial, they're just going to be like, wait, what the fuck is going on, and I just don't want that, I want people to be able to uh, keep up with me. So uh, I'm just going to make more of these uh, beginner tutorials. So make sure to check out BakaRenders.com. We just recently hit 10,000 uh, 10, registered users yesterday. 
and uh, now apparently it's at uh, 10,124, which is fantastic. The site is going great. And um, make sure to check out bakaarts.com, which is uh, our uh, new site. And uh, ba basically, this is where all the tutorials will be, um, like the wildfire beginner manipulation tutorial. Uh, there's going to be exclusive freebies. There's going to be uh, exclusive written tutorials and that are not going to be on video. And um, yeah, I think it's a nice and uh, simple design and really productive. Like, for example, if I go on the Easy Smudge tutorial right now, and I'm, I'm just going to get the video of the tutorial that I need and uh, the outcomes in uh, the description and uh, also with a nice text description of what the tutorial is. So you can just check out the tutorials here and uh, then the freebies in the menus you can choose uh, each and every one of these and go to the resources that you need. Uh, you can go to speed arts and uh, check out the speed arts if you want to and then the articles with uh, random graphic articles that I uh, will write. And if you're interested in helping me with the site and uh, if you want to write articles or, or submit your own tutorials then just simply contact me I will gladly put it up in the site if it's good because you know we gotta keep up only good tutorials for uh, people and um, that is it for today I am going to see you guys in a bit and uh, cheers make sure to subscribe